I'm Navdeep and this is my colleague Sahil. So we're going to take a little sneak uh, preview of our e-books as well as the, uh, the MyLab, which is basically an advanced LMS uh, system. So we're going to take you first about uh, the e-books, how this works, and how we have made this uh, more simple uh, than any other one uh, in the market. So let us go with the e-library first, sir. So yeah. Sorry. Right, so uh, you know, uh, Pearson e Library has uh, more than 4,000 uh, you know plus e textbooks with us, and this is one of the largest re uh, repository uh, one could have uh, in India. And uh, as you might be knowing that uh, you know all the management fac uh, faculties, maybe uh, a couple of you in the law uh, teaching B A L L B, uh, we have the world class content uh, with us uh, in Pearson. So perhaps one of the largest uh, repository in India we have. We have made it, uh, you know, uh, uh, this uh, e-library one of the simplest, in the simplest form so that the students as well as the faculty could uh, have an ease of access all the time. So uh, again, uh, includes renowned international titles. Uh, we have various imprints. Printis Hall is one of the, uh, you know, uh, imprint uh, where you find most of the, uh, you know, management books. Uh, we have Wharton School Publishing, again, one of the uh, impactful uh, publisher in, uh, uh, you know, business uh, economics area. Uh, we have a couple of computer sciences as well. If you have having uh, you know courses running into computer sciences and other, uh, any other stream, then we have world-renowned imprints in these areas. Always on access, uh, we have uh, 24 by 7. You need not to go to the library. You need not to be in the campus. You, if you are uh, any part of uh, in India uh, as a student, if you are a student, you are a faculty, you have an access, you have a password uh, or username, you can access our e-library content anywhere, uh, you know, uh, a part of uh, India. So this is one of the main, uh, you know, plus point uh, we have uh, than any other, uh, you know, e-library access, you can say. Uh, again, anywhere or any device access. It's not uh, you are not reluctant that you could have a laptop or you can have a mobile phone. Even uh, you know any other uh, devices you have, you can access uh, this ebook uh, at any time, any point of time. You know at anywhere. Again, the compatibility has been done with all the major uh, operating systems, so should not be an issue whether you are on Android, Windows, iOS, or any other operating system. You can access our ebooks. Personalized login credentials, uh, yes, uh, you know, uh, since uh, all the books have been saved on our server and we could provide you the username and password, the username and password has been, you know, accessed by the students as well as the faculty. Uh, whether you are in the campus or outside the campus, anywhere, perhaps, you know, most of the reading has been done in-house, you know, most of the, uh, in the hostels of the students. So we have providing it in a unique way in terms of username and password. We are not providing, we are not opening you a gateway where, you know, you could come up in a campus and you could op open and access the books. It's not like that. This is a different platform. We are providing you the username and password and you can access it anywhere at any time. Ease of navigate. As I said, you know this is uh, not high. Uh, you know, as you find, you may find out in most of the mobile phone when there is an animation or there is anything which is uh, quite heavy, it opens late. So we have done it quite simple and easy. That's why I, our system is very prompt. And you know, once you open the book, it will open it promptly. So uh, ease of navigation. There's no clutters, nothing like that. Very easy navigation we have in the e-books. So it would be very easy for you to access the books any time. Quick search within the book. Uh, one of the features we have, uh, you can inside the book if you want to search any jargons or anything uh, in the management or in, in the law. Uh, you know, you can just type the word and it would search out inside the book. So that's a quick search we have inside the book. App-based offline learning. Uh, we are coming up with an app, and uh, this app is a very uh, you know useful app for the students. While on the move, if you are if you you know uh, you don't have an internet access or internet access is intermittent most of the time. So when you are uh, you know we, you it's it's allow you to download all the book uh, in the in, in the app, and while offline you can able to see the book. So that what we are providing uh, uh, you know, and that app would uh, gonna come maybe in a month or so. Is it right, right? Yeah. So. Uh, this is one of the uh, you know landing page, so very easy, very simple. Even uh, you know a layman can also understand. This is how it is. 
customize and personalize, yes, uh, we have uh, done a little bit of work that, you know, uh, which a normal uh, person can do. If you want to make some notes uh, inside the, uh, you know, once you're logged in, then you can make your notes. If a faculty want to teach from the ebook, just like we are presenting here, you want to do some circles, you want to make some lines, you know, you want to uh, uh, increase the opacity or anything, coloring, everything. So all the stuff over there, it's, you know, everything is, the normal things are always there. So we have tried to keep it, uh, you know, simple things here in this, uh, you know, uh, uh, the platform. Then, as I said, 24-7, and uh, we have Indian as well as international authors, uh, you know, the renowned authors like Kotler, Robbins, and uh, Indian authors like Pathak uh, in Indian financial system. So we have a quite a good equilibrium of Indian as well as the foreign author books. Easy navigation, as I said, uh, personalized login, pers uh, you know, and then, uh, you know, the pricing uh, is very uh, uh, done on a very, uh, you know, uh, after doing a lot of research. Uh, we also, we understand that, uh, you know, in most of the universities, they have their own custom requirements. It's not the package they wanted to buy. So we have come up with the individual pricing. Whatever books you would like, you want to purchase, you can purchase these sort of. So we have, you know, made it like a dynamic price, dynamic purchase. Uh, if you want to, you know, let's say you have a separate departments, 10 to 8 departments, you want to purchase according to those departments, you can, uh, you know, customize uh, uh, as per your, you know, select the customized books and you can have the package, customized package for yourself. Uh, perpetuality, uh, you know, once it is there, uh, these books will be uh, all the time uh, with you. Uh, so uh, the perpetual is, uh, perpetuality is there. So once you buy uh, these books package from us, it will be there for you for, you for all the time. So you need to buy it again and again. So subscription is not like that. Though we have um, that model, but that was a costly one. So we would offer you the uh, perpetual model where you, uh, whatever books you need to buy. But of course, uh, the new edition, whenever the new edition comes up, uh, generally the cycle of the new edition is four to five years, maybe longer than that. Then again, the new edition you have to buy. The old edition will continue. Yes. 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 So, sir, ebook library, ebook e library is just uh, you know a kind of a uh, repository where uh, you know a common username and password is provided. Let's say uh, you know library ha uh, you know interested in buying our uh, repository, right? We would pro we would take the information about uh, the faculties as well as the students username and password. We could want to provide them. And what, you know, if there is an extra username and password, you would mail us and we're going to active those uh, username and password within 24 hours. So you, everybody would have their username and password uh, with them. You just go to the website, type the username and password, open the books, as simple as that. So it's kind of like so your Gmail account. Yeah. So it's not a, you know, we are not providing you a gateway, you know, where you have to go to a certain website mm -hmm. and that, you know, certain IP access has been opened to you mm -hmm. uh, and then they, through gateway you are opening the book. It's not like that. Because if you could provide that thing, you would restrict it to certain area. So, you know, the IP address would be a little bit, uh, most of them are confusing most of the time because uh, in the library, you know, in most of the university, there could be uh, several small IPs and then there would be a mother IP. So mother IP may be one or two. So it would restrict it in this area only. Student has to come up in this area and then you're going to, you know, you're going to open the books. But here, we're providing a username uh, and password where anywhere, anytime, at any location, you can open the books. So that's where we are having the advantage than the others. No, lifetime. lifetime. So this this ebooks are there for you. Okay, about highlights and whatever changes. Yeah. Would that we're gonna take a walkthrough after that? No, I'm yeah. sure you will. But uh, that would again be for me only. So what no. highlights I made? No. So it, let's say you know it's a Gmail account for you, right? right. Uh, you open the account. We provide you uh, you know opportunity to uh, whatever uh, make lines or whatever. Uh -huh. So it is it will remain at that that log login time only. Uh, once you log out, it will wash out. Right, let's say you're open, I will take a walk through also, I'm gonna explain you how it's gonna work. Okay, let's go ahead. Right, let's yeah, go ahead. yeah. I think we can skip the general part. Yeah, the general part, we're just not going, uh, you know, we're going with the uh, walk through. Yeah, I think that's that's more yeah. So this is uh, the login page. Yeah, just open it. So that's a that's a URL digital library, right? So as I said, that uh, the simple uh, landing page, 
no jargons, no clutter, nothing, only the books. You just have to click the book, it get open. E-books, that simple. Okay. So, Just the, the assignment and the quizzes, that's the So that's a MyLab. I would that's come to the MyLab, that's a different product. Different product, different product yeah. So that's a e-book and uh, you know, uh, these are the number of, uh, these actually uh, nothing, just a, you know, uh, a Zoom tool. Uh, because you can, you know, if you want to see uh, double pages, it would show you double pages, if you want to see 100%. So it's a simple tool you have. So this is one time, so you register one time? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Yes, so as simple as that. And uh, number of pages, let's say you want to go to page number 50, you just type it, and it'll go to page, it'll take you to the page number, uh, that one, right? And uh, these are the tools, like I'm a faculty, I'm teaching here uh, to the students, then I want to make some, uh, you know, uh, in the classroom, I want to make some, uh, you know, just like want to highlight something, the simple tools we have here. Uh, you know, if you want to make circles, line draw, anything, you know, this is the simple tools we have here. Washed out, yeah. Sir, only this, this part, but whatever notes and the bookmarks yeah. you will create, it will remain over there. So, yeah. Yes. So, that's... Next time I log in, so, you could see your... Yes. So, so you this tool has been... Yeah. So, let me explain you. This tool has been made to just, you know, sometime in the classroom, most of the classroom, we use... Yeah, we use, we use uh, PPTs or we use some part of a book. So, when you are opening a part of a book, you're going to explain this to students. You can use these sort of tools in the classroom. Yes, yes, it's a of course. Learning. Yeah. Everyone has so let me take you a little uh, uh, to another tool, small dot, one or two tools, hardly take time. For an example, if you want to make some notes, just click on that. Sorry. Right, so uh, let me give you a little example of how you can make notes. Uh, you just have to select uh, the particular, uh, you know, section. And uh, once you select the section, a pop-up window will show you. And you just have to, you know, click on the uh, notepad sort of a tool which would be reflecting here somewhere. So you just want to click here and it will show you. Yeah, it is there. So if you click it here, you want to make some notes. You need not to save anywhere, you just have to click it and then you know your note will be saved here so as simple as that you know uh, it would as many notes you can create here and if you want to mention anything about the notes you can mention sorry it's okay and we have around five color options um, you know cyan magenta green and this uh, this is option so whatever options are there you have to just make your own notes and the color would uh, give you an idea that what color you have chosen so as simple as that and uh, as i said that uh, you know uh, this is the uh, content part, and you could able to see the content inside the book, what it has, you know, the cover and everything. So just as simple as that. We have made it simple, easy, and, you know, once it is easy and simple, the, uh, you know, the, the, the download, yeah, the usage become more, and it will be jargon-free and clutter-free. So that's what we have made it. Nothing else. That's the e-book part. If you have any question, you can please ask. Right. So now we are going to wrap up with right. this. So now uh, this is the ebook library. Now we're gonna, uh, you know, enter into something which is yes, my lab. Dynamic tool. So, uh, so uh, you know, in most of the management institutions, or perhaps in the engineering, uh, you know, uh, institutions or other, you know, we have found that uh, a classroom teaching, uh, you know, sometimes. Uh, you know, won't help in terms of, uh, you know, students because you have different students from the different background. So we have tried to come up with the MyLab solutions. This is kind of a 360 daily learning uh, for the students. Uh, you know, uh, we have different part of, uh, you know, different students from different backgrounds from diff and they have different understanding as well. So in a, a, a you know, one hour classroom maybe or maybe five hour classroom sometimes, uh, you know, when the classroom goes uh, uh, for a longer period of time. Student won't understand uh, a single point of teaching, so he needs some homework. He need to do something else, and he need to understand something in a different way, so that he could, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, remember those things for the lifetime. So that is what we have come up, uh, come up with. We have come up with the the MyLab, which is advanced LMS system, 
uh, learning management system. It has an advanced grade book. You know, you can, you, you can uh, if let's say, in, if you're teaching marketing, uh, someone had, doesn't understand the branding part, probably could understand from your grade book by giving the test that, okay, 60% of the students haven't understood the grading part, uh, you know, the branding part. So you would understand and you could take the session again, 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 and from different uh, viewpoints so that your class would understand. So that the grade book is pretty dynamic. It will give you, uh, you know, answer you your uh, queries that where the students are not, uh, you know, getting through. So that's what it has, the grade book. Personalized learning, as I said, students are having a different uh, background, a different, uh, you know, uh, ways of learning. Perhaps, you know, you have uh, very uh, intelligent students, 15 students who can understand probably who might uh, come up with, uh, you know, prepared in the classroom. So, and there are students who generally take time. So personalized learning, it has an adaptive learning system. You know, so student, if you could give test and the student, the question is a little bit on a higher side, the adaptive learning can make uh, the questions, you know, the next question again would be simpler one to the students. So it, you know, one, uh, for an example, you have given a test to the student, right? And uh, he couldn't understand, uh, let's say, uh, you know, any uh, marketing, uh, let's say any marketing point, right? So uh, if you not understood that point, uh, the question, the next question would be simpler at per, as per his standards. So the adaptive learning is it. If the student is having a higher standard, he's giving right answers, the question would be more difficult. So it has an adaptive learning system. We have an algorithm where the question would come up as per the student's uh, you know, IQ. As I said, this is, an, this is not an LMS, this is an advanced LMS. You can, if you are uh, using uh, some other LMS like Moodle, Brightspace, Backboard, you can also integrate our LMS into your one. This is something learning catalysts, uh, you know, uh, uh, while in the classroom, you can give questions to the different, different students and your students can engage with themselves in the classroom. So this is what we have tried, live learning, you know, engagement uh, uh, in terms of learning. So that is also there. And these are the couple of features. Now we take you a little walkthrough about my, my lab so that you can understand how it is and what it has. So we open uh, the uh, OB lab, and uh, most of in most of the management classrooms, we have seen that there's a, a you know a requirement of uh, simulations. You know, uh, you might uh, you know there are no wrong answers, but there could be a conclusion uh, after you know if you're going through personal questions, and then there's a, a kind of a conclusion that it it, it would show you that. Are you right or how much percentage you are right? So this, these are the simulations we have to, you know, come up with this MyLabs. And uh, for an example, I can play uh, one simulation for you. One second, like, how do you get into this book? Said that we will show you. Said that we so will show you. we have a list of books which has MyLab with it. For example, for marketing management, we have MyLab. For OB uh, Robbins, we have MyLab. So we have opened uh, this MyLab. So once, uh, you know, uh, the MyLab is taken from, uh, in, let's say you have taken the MyLab from us, and so your course uh, with ID get registered, and st the faculty would have his MyLab, and all, every student would have their students, uh, you know, uh, login. So once they log in, you would be able to understand that how many students are logged in into your course. Let's say you have 50 students, you have made a classroom called Zeta Classroom. You in Zeta Classroom, 50 students' enrollment would be there, and you could be able to see and give anything you wanted to do. So right? Let me, sir, if you are, there are 100 students in a class, so you could also split them in a two part. Yeah, for sections. A better understanding of the so you can, uh, you know, uh, divide the classroom according to your sections. We have, uh, let's say, 3, 5, 10, 15 uh, classrooms. You can divide your classroom according to the course course. So that's, uh, that is there, right? So, uh, these are the, uh, you know, uh, the main content. Uh, you know, we have multimedia library. We have end of discussion questions, self-assessment library. We have communication tool. You want to communicate through, you know, through email. Uh, that okay, I want to take this, uh, uh, you know, uh, next session on Thursday. Come up in the class so that announcement can be made regarding anything. So that can also be done. You have instructor resources. We can we can go by, uh, one by one. Perhaps not all, but maybe some of the important features where uh, you know could be very useful in inside the classroom. So one of the uh, things that we wanted to explain to you is the simulation. As we said that, you know, we have seen that simulation are in dire requirement in most of the institutions. So this is what we have come up on. My OB uh, lab has a has lot of, you know, more, uh, has in simulations. So, uh, you know, the simulation can be placed in the classroom and uh, it could show you the answers percentage wise that how much have you have, uh, you know, right or wrong. So for example, we can go through with this simulation. Sign? Right. So this is a case study. Right? 
Yeah. So uh, Sahil, can you go in the next? If you, if, if you want to close it, if you, yeah. You can quickly go to the slide. Right. So we get quickly uh, selecting the options, and it will show you the answers at the end. You just yes, click click on the select. The next. Mike decides that he select needs to get some money. So we're randomly Mike doing it so that we can wanted to show you how the simulation works here, Stella, and how realistic it is, and how you know it would important to the students. In Mike's, at Mike's first meeting with other business unit men, Mike, with the help of Stella. Learns how to, after checking through a summary of quality reports, Jim is happy. It's a bit of a long case study, but yes, uh, you know, the conclusions are good. Mike's first couple of weeks as a production manager have been frustrating. It, you can I see that it will also showing the feedback, you know, <coughs> after uh, going to the next question. So you can view your result report. Long. You have earned 58%. So in that way, you know, it will show you that, uh, you know, uh, how much, you know, going through a case study, going through a simulations, uh, how much you have done right, uh, going through the systematic way of learning. So that's what it has. You know, it, will, it has those uh, simulations, and then it will give you feedback on after, after every point. If you want to print it, you can, uh, you know, take a printout, and that report can be shown to a uh, faculty, and the faculty can evaluate. Maybe, uh, you know, you can use it in your internals, or, I mean, it's all upon you to uh, take, take a decision at the end of the day. But it has simulations. Most of the books are having the simulation so part. Like one time access to a student, so they can uh, do it again and again and again. Yeah, so there are different case studies we have. No, no, this particular case. Within yeah. time period. Uh, that, that yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Access for this is six months. So within that six months, they can take it as many times as they So, so yeah. No, I don't want, let's say, hmm. one simulation. There's an opportunity for me to go through it entirely, learn what is in there, and then I do it again, yeah. you know, and end up. End up yeah, 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 yeah. So the second report to the instructor, then I basically keep it. Is there an option to check that? That's what I need up here. So, uh, sir, see, uh, you know, no, there's no not option. There's no option to check right now. But yes, uh, you know, perhaps if you're probably a self-learning tool. Self-learning tool, yes, yes. But again, uh, I would rather say that if you're going again and again, probably you haven't, you know, uh, eager to do right things. So it's not that, you know, there are two pages, yes or wrong. It's multiple pages. You know, you have to go through multiple pages, and there are multiple choice uh, options you have. So you have to understand, and then you have to click on right. Perhaps if the student is going again and again, then probably he could have that sort of a, you know, uh, positivity that he could do well. So. Yeah, so other things are, uh, you know, uh, videos, we have videos, uh, simple things, we have world class content, again, you know, there are case studies, something like explanation, any, anything. So uh, we have, uh, and in, in the every chapter you can find out that what are the videos we have. Again, these are simple things. So the example videos I've taken from uh, industry experts, uh, from our authors, and uh, you know resource people, senior resource people. Furniture for so long, some of their first cutting edge are now yeah. retro classics. Yeah. So flashcard is there, right? Right. Sign, can you open that? Assignment manager. Okay. Okay. Right. Simple one. Take a great test. So you have an option to uh, take quizzes, test, anything, you know, inside the chapter, inside a subtopic, or you can take, uh, you know, test for whole uh, chapter. So you have an option, you know, uh, if you want to take a test for one chapter, if you want to take a, you know, test for a little part in the chapter, Anything. So you have multiple options. You have to take a test, uh, uh, and you can also announce uh, through your communication tool. Okay, I have sent the test. Kindly give up a test. I give you two days. So the text expiration, uh, you know, date is also there. So after two days, let's say it has gone, so student would won't be able to give a test. So that's multiple uh, options are there.
are there in this. Right? So, Sahil, can Sir, you open? the best thing about this part is it is completely linked with our book. Yeah. Right? Supposing OB, you are using Robins. So, it is completely mapped with Robins. Can you open one, uh, what is organization may for example? So, uh, let's suppose if a student doesn't understood uh, a little thing, you know, he could uh, click on a certain section there and the certain uh, page of a book would open. He would, you know, read that and he could understand that, okay, this is what the piece is all about. So you yes. have option there to uh, here you have option multiple Can options. Have, like, some of the examples of the quizzes. So since you are a faculty, so it is showing you the star because you know these star are the right. Is the correct answer for this problem. Right? So we have a preview uh, somewhere. Can you show the preview so that uh, your student uh, and preview? yeah. Sir, suppose being an instructor, if you wanted to give some suggestions or some tips to the students, you could also put it over there, submit it, it will reflect on their portal, right? On the student side, when he's give, while he's giving the test. What else you want to shoot it? Preview. Student preview? preview. So student may say this star yeah. will not reflect. So it will just come as a test. You have just have to click it, and at the end of the uh, you know couple of portions, you, you will get get the marks that okay you have uh, these you have gained these marks. Right? So this is like you can add as many portions as you want to, and then you can. But yes, you know, there's no algorithm right now in the industry uh, where uh, your subjective questions can be evaluated. So subjective question, you have to take care of yourself. Uh, but there are, you know, so you can put uh, questions where uh, the student can enter the subjective answers. So there's no algorithm right now to evaluate that. So, you know, there's no mechanism out there. But yes, objective type can be evaluated and you can take, uh, uh, you know, uh, so test accordingly. Yeah. And let's say each student will get at random ten. Yes, each yes, one yes. One. So suppose uh, question number one uh, would be my uh, uh, here question number ten. So you know it would come randomly so that the student can't cheat among themselves. So what yar kya tha uska answer kya tha? Bata de mujhe. To kya itna lamba hai ki wo main puta hi nahi kar paunga because itne randomly aa rahe hain sabko. So yes, there it is. Right. So this is uh, assignment. This is how it also yes, sir. This is how yeah. you could uh, do such timing if you want to. Adjust. Yeah. Do you have to give the details? So, if you don't have to give the you can give the details. I mean, like, it's uh, on you, on, on, give an example, yes. Yeah. So, pretty flexible, you know. Uh, the system is pretty flexible according to your side, uh, your, uh, you know, whatever you want. So, this grade book will give you a fair idea about how your class is performing, sir. Yeah. Since the students are not enrolled to this platform right away. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is like a faculty dashboard, uh -huh. dashboard where you will get 100 students are enrolled with you. Out of that, 70 has done the test, 30 are still yet to do the test. So you will get a complete dashboard with yeah. a single click. So uh, it also have an inact inactivity alert. So uh, let's say uh, we have given 50 students, but 50 are not using it. So inactivity alert will come that yes, they are not using it. So you can uh, you know, tell them that you are not using it. So these options, I mean, it's pretty 360 degree. So anything, every, anything, anywhere, if you want to have your own custom uh, things to put on, you can put anything. So that's how open this program is. You know, it's pretty open. The book is also mapped with this, right? So one thing is the assessment. The other one is the book. If you want to read further, you could go to the text part. You could read it and then can come again and then try. So in a nutshell, uh, you know, if you open the multimedia, Whatever you think of in multimedia, flashcards, videos, uh, animations, it is there. Once you open the assignment manager, whatever you think of giving a chapter wise, uh, book wise, whatever, it is there. So whatever options you may open it like on the left hand side, we have made it a pretty open uh, you know, in all the aspects. So you can customize according to your needs and you can also, and perhaps we are having the world class content as well. You know, the management books and the other books are most probably adopted everywhere. So that is how uh, these my labs are being, uh, you know, uh, we have shown it into FMS and uh, one time for the cost accounting and uh, they initiated uh, with that product, I think two years back and they found it very well. So, and uh, you know, they have started with their uh, executive program and uh, uh, later on, uh, you know, they wanted to uh, uh, implement it in the regular program, but somehow uh, for the executive program, they like it very well. So these are some of the 
end of chapters questions for the students right those who wanted to develop more hands on on a particular topic so they could go chapter wise they could they could take it and then go to the main quiz right so this is only for the students end of chapter questions right so this is more in is all about our my labs so there will be yeah sure sure yeah 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 okay. we also have kbc type of question uh, question here uh, you know uh, we have multiple options you have just have to click it and then uh, uh, you know it could show you the rankings it has e text multimedia library we have discussed e end of question discussions we also and uh, instructor tools sir yeah. you don't need to go anywhere if you want the ppts if you want the question banks if you want the solution manuals everything is integrated to this platform with just a click you will get the access of that particular thing you well. can enter your rooster course details here uh, you can uh, can I have a grade book sorry Uh, you can have uh, you know you can connect with b school community uh, you know other b school communities uh, so a lot of options we have in this uh, 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 you know platform so this is what is all about uh, we would give you uh, you know uh, the demo logins uh, uh, you know as per your requirements so you can go through uh, by yourself or, or perhaps you can enroll one or two students just to see how the response comes up because we want to see how the response come from the student side to you so uh, it, i think it is highly important in that case so uh, you just let us know so that we could initiate and you could able to analyze how the tool it is but i'm giving one sure uh, one thing uh, uh, sure about this that this is one of the best uh, you know assessment systems we have in the industry that's all about that is we you know have to offer you thank you, thank you. and uh, uh, we love to have some questions so if you have any questions please let us know So without much further ado let me welcome you one more time we are all here well i am not let me make that correction i am frequently here everybody else is all, always here so any time you want to reach out to people for advice and information you are most welcome and uh, anybody else has anything to add Thank clearly you not absolutely most welcome so we shall keep interacting welcome again bye